So, welcome back again students to another video lesson. So, after nating i-translate yung mga verbal phrases into mathematical phrases and from mathematical phrases to verbal phrases. So, i-introduce ko na sa inyo yung other branch ng mathematics na highlights. So, isa sa mga highlights ng mga high school students. So, which is algebra. So, pag-uusapan natin dito yung mga different terms, so important terms related to algebra. So, let's start. Of course, our lesson objective has something to do with illustrating and differentiating terms in algebra. So, i-discuss ko po sa inyo yung introduction to algebra. So, saan nang galing yung salitang algebra? Sinong nakadiscover? And then, yung mga important terms related sa algebra. So, bago tayo mag-compute, Bago tayo mag-solve uh, ng word problem, so at least familiar po tayo sa mga important terms, so significant terms in algebra. So, gaya nga ng sabi ko, so we will be uh, defining algebra. So, what is algebra? So, algebra comes from the Arabic word aljabar, so which means restoration, which in turn was part of the title of a mathematical book written around the 820 AD by Arab mathematician. So, yung algebra po, nanggaling po siya sa Arabic word na ibig sabihin, restoration. So, na part siya nung book, na mathematical book na sinulat noong 820 AD ng isang Arab mathematician na walang iba kundi si Muhammad Ibn Musa al So, yan po, siya po yung unang nakadiscover ng word na algebra. So, dyan po nang galing yung word or yung subject, yung branch ng mathematics, which is algebra. So, ito na po yung mga important terms related to algebra. So, unang-una na po dito, constants and variables. So, kung nanood po kayo ng video ko dun sa Uh, verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. So, nasabi ko na po dyan yung variables. So, para mas maliwanagan kayo kung ano nga ba yung variable na yan, and then as well as yung constant, so let's define them. So, when we say constant, a constant is the number itself. For example, 2 and negative 8. Okay. So, ganun lang po kadali yung constant. Number siya. It's either positive number or a negative number. And then, kapag naman variables, a variable is usually represented by letters in the English alphabet. For example, X and Y. So, kung yung constant number ang kanyang pinag-uusapan, o yung kanyang pinapoint out, so sa variables naman, nire-represent natin yung yun gamit yung mga letters sa English alphabet. So, There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. So, one of these is X. Pwede rin naman yung Y. So, variables, letters. So, kapag pinag-uusapan po natin algebra, so, hindi po natin sinasabi na letters. So, we consider them as variables. Next, algebraic expression and term. So, an algebraic expression is an expression which composed of constants and variables. So, constants, ito yung mga numbers, and then variables, ito yung mga letters. So, pinaghalo po sila, pinagsamang constant and variables na ang tawag ay algebraic expression. Then, we have also the word term. A term is a constant or a variable or constants and variable. So, yung sa algebra po kasi, Kapag constant siya, classified din siya as term. And then, a variable, kahit letter lang siya, term pa rin siya. O kaya naman, pinagsama. Constants and variables. For example, So, in negative 7, A, B, C, negative 7 is the constant term. Then, A, B, and C are variables. So, yung algebraic expression po natin dito is negative 7, A, B, C, which is composed of constants and variables. Negative 7 yung number, kaya constant term siya. And then, A, B, C, yun yung mga letters, kaya variables po sila. So, I hope naging clear po yung algebraic expression, tsaka yung term. 
So we also have coefficients. So numerical coefficient is the constant number, while literal coefficient is the term containing the variable and the exponent. Okay, so dun sa algebraic expression natin kanina, meron po tayo dung numerical coefficient. At meron din po tayong tinatawag na literal coefficients o yung variable na kadalasan or minsan meron silang kasamang exponent. So yung power. So yung exponent, ito po yung mga numbers na nakasulat sa pinakataas. So yung mga malilit na number. So familiar po kayo dyan sa exponent or powers na yan. So, let's have example para mas maintindihan nyo. So, ayan. In 8x cubed, 8 is the numerical coefficient and x cubed is the literal coefficient where x is called the base and 3 is the exponent or power. So, yun yung algebraic expression po natin dito is 8x cubed. And then, yung 8, yun yung tinatawag na numerical coefficient, yung constant constant term. And then, yung x cubed naman is the literal coefficient na kung saan nga yung x, of course, is the literal coefficient or the variable. And then, meron din uh, dagdag pa dyan is yung exponent no variable x which is 3. So, as you can see, ayan, yung 3, yung exponent, nakasulat siya sa pinaka itaas. So, ayan po yung numerical coefficient and literal coefficient. So, numerical number, literal letter. So, ganyan lang naman po yung difference between these two uh, coefficients. And then, pag tinatanong lang tayo, what is the coefficient of the given uh, expression? So, kapag coefficient lang po ang tinatanong, so, nire-refer niya po doon yung numerical coefficient. So, kapag ganun po, in 8x cubed, what is the coefficient? So, the answer is 8. Hindi po yung x cubed. Let us now move on to another term related to algebra. So, ayan po yung ating uh, salita, which is polynomials. So, meron din po tayong operations on polynomials, which will be discussed on the next video lessons. So, let us first define what is a polynomial. So, a polynomial is an algebraic expression which consists of a constant, a variable, or a product of a constant and a variable. So, yung mga nakita natin kanina, negative 7abc, 8x cubed, these are considered or classified as polynomials, wherein polynomials or a polynomial is an algebraic expression na binubuo nga ng constant, ng variable, o kaya yung product of a constant and variable. So, we have there the word product. So, ibig sabihin po kasi, the operation is multiplication. Kapag magkadikit yung uh, variable or yung constant tsaka variable, product po yun. So, multiplication po yung operation. So, a polynomial contains a non-negative integer exponent power. So, na, na, napakita ko rin po kanina sa inyo, na illustrate ko rin yung uh, exponent o kaya yung power. So, kapag polynomial po, kailangan po yung exponent o yung number na isinusula sa pinakataas ay non-negative. Ibig sabihin po, positive. So, integer. So, kapag integer din, kailangan whole number din po. Hindi pwedeng maging decimal o kaya naman fraction. So, now, an algebraic expression is not a polynomial if. So, hindi lahat po ng algebraic expressions can be classified as polynomials. So, hindi sila polynomials kapag una, the exponent of the variable is negative and not a whole number. So, yung exponent, yung power, yung number na nakasulat doon sa pinakataas sa tabi ng variable ay negative and not a whole number. So, kapag ganun po, not algebraic expression po, not a polynomial po siya. Let us have an example. Ayan, 4x raised to negative 2 plus 5x minus 3. So, what makes this algebraic expression a non-polynomial? It's because of negative 2. So, yung negative 2 po na, pa, na exponent or power, kailangan po dapat positive yun, hindi po dapat negative. Next, the variable is inside the radical sign. So, para 
malinawan na lang kayo sa radical sign, ito po yung square root. So, kailangan po yung variable wala sa loob ng sa radical sign, sa square root sign. For example, x squared minus 8 square root of x plus 7. As you can see, yung variable natin, which is x, ay nasa loob ng radical sign, which makes it as a non-polynomial, a non-algebraic expression. Pero kapag yung numerical coefficient o yung constant ay nasa loob ng radical sign, and then yung variable nasa labas, considered po yun as polynomial. And lastly, the variable is in the denominator. So, hindi rin po sa algebraic expression, hindi rin po sa polynomial kapag yung variable nasa denominator. Like for example, ayan, 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 2. Okay. So, yung variable po natin na x squared ay nasa denominator. So, bakit hindi dapat nasa denominator yon? It's because kapag yung x squared tinransform natin, magiging x raised to negative 2. Okay. So, negative exponent po kasi siya nun, kaya hindi po siya polynomial. So, I hope naging clear po yung mga restrictions sa pag-classify ng mga polynomials, tsaka hindi. So, let us have the types of polynomials. Polynomials can be classified according to the number of terms. So, terms. So, let us have the first type. Monomial. So, monomial is a polynomial with one term. So, yung monomial, yung prefix na mono means one, parang monoblock. Okay, so, isa siyang polynomial na one term lang po. So, like for example, so, 8 negative 2x, 9ab, and negative 6x cubed y squared z are monomials. So, as you can see, single term po lang sila. So, one term lang. So, kapag may operation na po, like for example, plus, o yeah, minus. So, hindi na po yung classified as monomial. Maaring yung two terms na siya, three terms, and so on. After monomial, we have binomial. So, kapag binomial naman po, two terms. Dalawang terms na po sila. For example, ayan, x plus 1, negative 3b plus 5c, and y squared minus 7z are binomials. So, anong pinagkaiba ng monomial sa binomial? So, yung binomial po, meron na po siyang operation. Like, for example, yung plus, minus. And then, yung two terms na sinasabi niya, like, dun sa x plus 1, x is a term. 1 is a term. Kaya binomial siya, dalawang terms. Then, may operation na plus. What else? Negative 3b plus 5c. So, negative 3b tsaka 5c, terms po yan. Kaya, binomial. Tsaka yung operation na plus. y squared minus 7c. y squared is a term. 7z is a term. Tsaka yung operation na minus. So, napapagitnaan po yung dalawang term ng operation. It's either plus, minus, times, or divide. Next, trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. Like for example, tricycle. Tatlo ang gulong ng tricycle. So just like polynomial, meron tayong tri trinomial na may three terms. Examples, x plus y plus z and 2m squared minus 9mn plus n squared are trinomials. So by the way, Pag yung mga variables magkadikit, ayan, hindi sila nagkakahiwalay, walang plus or minus sa gitna nila, considered as one term din po sila. So, pero in case of x, y, and z, may mga plus, may addition uh, sign sa gitna nila. Kaya, magkakaibang term sila, separate terms. And then, kapag more than three terms na, usually ang tawag doon, multinomial, or pwede rin naman pong polynomial. So, polynomial, poly means many. Okay. So, multinomial or polynomial, pwede rin kahit ano po ang gamitin nyo dyan, pwede. So, like for example, ayan, 2x cubed minus 9xy plus 5y squared minus 4 is a multinomial. Ayan. So, bakit naging multinomial siya or polynomial? It's because more than 3 terms na po. Ilan ang terms niyan? Apat po. Yung mga terms niya, una, 2x cubed, tapos negative 9xy, 5y squared, tsaka negative 4. 
And then, polynomials can also be classified according to the degree. So, kung kanina, classified sila according to the number of terms, ngayon naman, pwede rin pong i-classify yung mga polynomials according to the degree. So, yung una, constant. So, constant is a polynomial with a zero degree. So, constant, ito po yung mga numbers. It's either positive, negative. Ayan. 4 and negative 18 are constant polynomials. Wala po silang ibang degree kundi 0. Okay? Next. Linear is a polynomial of degree 1. Okay. Degree 1 po sila. Like for example, a minus 3 and y plus 8 are linear polynomials. So, yung pinakamatas na degree dito is 1. So, yung exponent po kasi ng variable a sa a minus 3 is 1. So, y plus 8, 1 din po. Kaya, linear polynomials po sila. Next, after linear, meron po tayong tinatawag na quadratic. So, quadratic po is a polynomial of degree 2. Okay. So, yung pinakamataas na degree ng polynomial na yon is 2. Like, for example, ayan, x squared minus 9, a squared plus 4b, and x squared minus 7x plus 10. So, as you can see, yung pinakamataas na degree ng bawat uh, given polynomial is 2. What, that makes them quadratic polynomials. Next, after quadratic, we also have cubic. So, kapag cubic polynomial naman, degree 3 yun. So, the highest degree is 3. Like, for example, 3y cubed plus 2y minus 8, a cubed minus 2a squared plus 5a plus 12 are cubic polynomials. Yung highest degree, yung pinakamataas na degree exponent dun sa mga terms ng polynomial is 3. Kaya, cubic polynomials po yan. And then, next one, quartic polynomial. So, the highest degree is 4. Example, 2x to the 4th power plus 8x cubed minus 5x squared minus x plus 6 is a quartic polynomial. So, kapag polynomials uh, na kinaklassify natin according to degrees, so, it doesn't matter kung ilang terms. It's because nagbe-base tayo, tinitignan natin yung mga degree, yung highest degree ng polynomial na yon. Basically, dito yung highest degree is 4, dun sa 2x to the 4th power. And then, we also have quintic. Quintic is a polynomial of degree 5. Basically, yung highest degree ng polynomial na to is 5. Example, x to the 5th power minus 7x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2 is a quintic polynomial. So, kapag quintic polynomial, it doesn't mean na dapat 5 terms. Hindi po terms ang tinitignan natin dito, kundi yung degree. So, kahit na humaba pa yung polynomial, as long as yung highest degree is 5, quintic polynomial po rin po siyang maituturing. So, we also have standard form of a polynomial. So, a polynomial is written in standard form if the terms are arranged in decreasing powers. So, masasabi lang natin na ang polynomial ay nakasulat sa standard form kabag yung mga terms ay naka-arrange in decreasing powers. Ibig sabihin, pababa yung mga exponent. The first term of the polynomial written in standard form is the leading term. So, kapag sinulat na natin yung polynomial in standard form, nakapababa na yung mga powers ng bawat terms. Ayan. Yung leading term ay makikita natin sa pinakauna. Okay. So, leading na uuna. And then, the numerical coefficient of the leading term is the leading coefficient. So, once na na-identify na natin yung leading term, easy na lang po sa atin ang pag-identify ng leading coefficient. So, let's have an example of standard form of a polynomial. Like for example, ayan, 
negative 2x plus 6x squared plus x to the fourth power plus 8 minus x cubed is not written in standard form. Paano natin malalaman na hindi nakasulat in standard form? Tignan lang po natin yung mga exponents, yung mga powers. Ano ang exponent ng naunang term, yung negative 2x? 1, and then naging 2 sa next term, and then 4, and then constant term, and then 3. So, para maisulat po yan, kailangan i-arrange po natin yung mga terms in decreasing powers. Alin ang mauna dyan? Yung highest degree po, which is yung 4. So, this polynomial must be written as... Ayan, x to the 4th power, and then minus x cubed, plus 6x squared, minus 2x, plus 8. As you can see, yung mga terms arrange in decreasing powers. The highest degree is 4, and then 3, 2, 1, and then yung constant term na degree is 0. So, by the way, kapag meron pong negative sign na naka-attach sa term, kailangan din po natin yung isama sa pagsulat. In standard form. Huwag po natin iiwanan. Like for example, ayan. Kung makikita nyo yung negative 2x, kapag sinulat po natin yan, kailangan nakatouch pa rin po yung negative 2x. Hindi po dapat 2x. So, we also have degree of a polynomial. So, the degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent or the highest sum of the exponents of the variables in a term. So, malalaman lang po natin yung degree ng polynomial kapag tinignan natin yung mga exponents. Okay. Mahalaga po na alam natin yung degree ng polynomial is because makakatuling din po ito sa pagsulat in standard form ng polynomial. So, kung kanina kasi tinignan natin yung highest degree. Okay. And then, meron din tayo dyan the highest sum of the exponents of the variables. Meron din po kasi tayo mga polynomials na merong dalawang variables or higit pa sa isang term lang. Meron din namang isa lang. So, let's have example. Ayan. In 3x to the 4th power minus x cubed plus 9x squared plus 11x minus 5. So, yung highest degree po natin dyan, as you can see, nakasulat naman po in standard form. So, yung highest degree natin dyan sa mga terms ng polynomial is 4. Therefore, the degree is 4. So, if your teacher asks you to identify the degree of a polynomial, so, titignan lang po natin dyan yung highest degree, yung pinakamataas na degree. Next, in 6x to the 4th power y cubed plus 7x cubed y to the 5th power, so, ayan, yung sinasabi ko kanina, may mga polynomial po tayo na sa isang term lang, marami pong variables. Like, for example, 6x to the 4th power y cube, meron po tayong variable x to the 4th power at saka y cube. x and y variables po yan. So, para malaman po yung degree, kapag ganyan po yung given na polynomial, i-add lang po natin yung mga exponents. And then, yung pinakamataas doon, of course, na sum, yun po yung magiging degree ng given polynomial. So, kung i-add natin yung sa una, 6x to the 4th power y cube, 4 plus 3, that is 7. Sa pangalawa naman, 7x cubed y to the 5th power, 3 plus 5, 8. Halin ang mas mataas, 7 or 8. Of course, 8. Therefore, the degree of the given polynomial is 8. So, after discussing with you the important terms, key terms related to algebra, so we'll now move on to evaluating algebraic expressions. So, I hope naging clear yung mga discussion natin, yung mga terms related to algebra. Like, for example, yung polynomials according to number of terms and according to degree. Okay? So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.